Hi, I'm Steve and I wanted to show you how we kill invasive English holly trees, which are a threat to the native plants and wildlife in nature parks. Basically, they shade out the area and invade the parks. So they get taken out to restore the native plants. We use tools to remove the trees. And here's the assortment that I use and have found totally useful. The yellow tool here is a mattock and it's good for all the small, for digging out all the small English holly trees. S small is like two and a half inches and under that are just sprouting up out of the ground. You can dig them out with that tool. And also the loppers are handy for the bigger trees and the small ones to chop off the branches and roots, but especially the branches as you want to get to the base of the tree, get those scratchy branches off the tree. An ax is helpful for chopping down the tree, or you could also chop down the tree with a Corona pruning saw. Very cool. And this is a Estwing, E-S-T-W-I-N-G, Made in America, hatchet. And the hatchet, I'll show you, is very useful for killing as well. Here's a tree, a holly tree, that's been chopped down. There's also some ivy around it, but it's a holly tree. Here's the stump, and it's about four inches off the ground here. So the hatchet is useful for chopping into the stump a couple inches above the ground and going all the way around the bark, which injures the tree severely and should put it to death. Then you're done without any chemicals or anything. But what might happen, the tree could be three inches to 10 inches. They're, they're all sizes, but three, four, five, six inches. What might happen in a year is that a sprout pops up like this. And so what you would do is take your Estwing hatchet or any hatchet and chop into that at the base of the, of the roots where the sprout is. So you would just chop it, chop, 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 a little more vandalizing. This would be like a year later after you've done this initial cut. If, if you had a sprout, you would chop into it and every, Every time I've done that, it's killed the tree for good. The stump didn't sprout anymore in years after that. So it's a little known tip that I discovered just because I wanted to do it all natural. And with trial and error, you find ways to do things. And that is a very effective way to kill a English holly tree. All right, I hope that was helpful. and. I'll be seeing you.